Namaste. Welcome to the channel everyone. I'm Kimberly Mingswell and today we're going to do a classic Hatha yoga sequence. Super easy. We're going to begin lying down on our backs. So first and foremost, take a deep inhalation and a deep exhalation. Let your body sink into the floor. Your eyes are closed. Your feet are a little bit apart. Your arms are out from the body with the palms turned towards the ceiling. And begin assessing what your body is experiencing here and now. Begin to collect your thoughts. You've set aside this time to do a short yoga practice. So when your mind starts going to other thoughts, bring yourself back to the here and now. Begin focusing on your breath. If possible, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Feel your lungs completely full. Empty your lungs completely empty. Equal deep inhalation as exhalation. Think ocean wave movements as you breathe. Let your breath mimic the rhythm of slow moving ocean waves. And begin wiggling your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. If it feels good, give your body a good stretch. Extend the arms behind the head, out from the shoulders. Extend the legs out from the hips, point your toes. And open your eyes. When releasing pose is the first yoga pose we're going to do today. On an inhalation, right knee comes up, grab the knee with both hands and pull the knee to the center of the heart. On an exhalation, if possible, lift your head up, forehead to knee. On an exhalation, head back on the floor. On an inhalation, release your leg. On an inhalation, left knee up to the body. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, head down. Exhale, release the leg. Both knees, inhale. One hand on each knee, press the knees together. Press the knees to the center of the heart. On the next breath, lift up the head, forehead towards the knees. One breath, one movement. As you breathe, lower the head. And on the next breath, carefully place the legs back down on the floor. Another round, a little bit different. Inhale, right knee, right hand only. And use the right hand to press the knee out towards the shoulder. Try not to let the thigh touch the ribs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. Inhale, release the leg. Left side on an inhalation. Grab the left knee, pull the knee towards the left shoulder. On an exhalation, lift the head. Inhalation, lower the head. Exhalation, release the leg. Both legs. Inhale, open the knees apart. Exhale, lift the head up. Exhale, lower the head. And now, soles of the feet go up to the ceiling, parallel to the ceiling. Grab your feet or your toes and use the strength of your arms to pull the knees down towards the floor beside your hips. On the next inhalation, Lift your head up, look between the legs. Happy baby. Exhale, come back down. Hands 
now and move to the knees. The knees are back together. The hands are on the floor. And start drawing a circle with your knees. A good massage of the hips, a nice warm up of the spine, lower back area. And let this circle that you're drawing with your knees be as large or as small, as fast or as slow as that is comfortable for you. So if you're a little bit stronger in the abs, you can start straightening your legs out more, as well as pulling your knees up closer to the chest. Listen to your body, listen to your back, and now rotate that circle in an opposite direction. And pull the knees back into the chest. Straighten the knees up to the sky as well as lift the hands up to the sky. Flex your feet. At the same time, flex your hands so that your fingertips, palms up, fingertips are coming towards the forehead. Exhale, point your toes. Fingers go up to the ceiling and down towards the navel. Inhale, flex both the hands and the feet. Exhale, point the toes and the fingers down towards the navel. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Now open your feet hip distance apart and begin moving both the hands, arms, wrists, ankles, legs from the hips like windshield wipers. Really good for circulation of our legs and our arms. And take this windshield wiper movement as far around as is possible for you. Now, with arms and legs still up in the air, start drawing circles with your wrists and your ankles. Might begin to feel tired in the legs or the arms. Hold out for a few more breaths. And bend the knees. Set the soles of your feet on the floor. Inhalation, you can use your hands to support your head to pull your chin to your chest. And from there, come up to sitting. From sitting, cat and cow seated. So, you're sitting in an easy crisscross applesauce or whatever is comfortable with your legs. Your hands are relaxed on your knees. On an exhalation, arch your back and look down towards the belly. On an inhalation, sway the spine, look up, extend the tailbone back. Focus on your breath. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. We're going to take two more of these. Exhale, look down. Seated cat and cow. Exhale, look up. Last one. One breath, one movement. And it's time to move on to boat. So your feet are on the floor now, knees are bent and together. You can hold underneath your knees. Pull the navel into the spine and up, elongate the spine. Try to make a straight line from the top of your head all the way down to the tailbone. And if possible, lift up your feet from the floor. It's okay to hold on. You might need to sit your feet back down on the floor. That's okay, just do the best you can. Those that are a little stronger can release the knees. If you've got more to give, straighten out the knees, and even then you're not finished. You're ultimately trying to think heart to the legs, legs to the heart. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs completely. Elongate out of the spine. Elongate the legs from the hips. And cross your feet, hands are on the floor, forward straight arms, Press your shoulders down. Use your feet against the floor to lift up the buttocks. And hold for one, two, three, 
four, five. Come back down, go into boat again. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Cross your legs, use your feet against the floor if you need to, otherwise pick up without using the feet. One, two, three, four, five. Come back down the last boat. And if you're feeling the need for even more of a challenge, pretend you're holding a ball and begin to sit the ball on the right hand side and then the left hand side, right hand side, left hand side. You're focusing on the breath and you're moving with your breath. Two more, right, left, last round, right, left, pick it up again. Use your feet against the floor. The secret here is do not place your hands beside your hips, but come forward. One, arch your back. Two, lift the navel up to the forehead. Three, four, five. From here, downward facing dog. So, hands right under the shoulders and make your fingers spread out far apart from each other. Big hands. Feet hip distance apart. Press the sit bones up to the sky. Press the shoulder blades into each other. The ears are beside the arms and you're looking between the thighs. Your heels are reaching for the floor. Sit bones again reaching to the sky. Elongate the spine so the top of your head is reaching for the space between your thumbs. Your gaze is between the thighs. Really stretch the sit bones up. Really pull the belly in. You're hollowing out the belly. You're pressing the shoulders away from the ears. And from here, look forward, bend your knees. So, now you're gonna start feeling it in your thighs and in your buttocks and in the lumbar section of your back. Feel your lungs, empty your lungs, stay here. If you need to take a rest by putting your knees down on the floor, do so. And inhale, up to down dog. Exhale, knees almost on the floor now, almost on the floor, but they're not touching the floor. We're working our thighs here. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. And down dog. In, come back down, last set. Knees almost on the floor. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Your muscles may be shaking now. Focus on what your body is experiencing. Your knees are not on the floor. Up into down dog. Fill your lungs, empty your lungs. Really stretch the sit bones up. Look forward, come back to sitting. Last boat, come up into boat, but slowly with the upper body, one vertebrae at a time, come down. Lumbar touches the floor first, and then continue coming down, one vertebrae at a time, and then lower the feet. Palms of the hands are facing the ceiling. The feet are a little bit away from each other. Shoulder blades resting on the floor. Close your eyes. Allow your breath to come back to a normal, spontaneous breath without control and take your rest. While you're resting, I'd like to take this moment to say, thanks for practicing with me. I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe if you would like these videos to come into your email box. And like and share if you know of anybody else that would enjoy them. Namaste, everyone. Have a fantastic day.